Hmm, I'm bored. What can we do? Oh, I know. Let's play a game on my laptop. Alright, let's get started. <gasps> what is this? What's going on? Oh no, I broke my computer! What's up guys, Kanishka here with Dvorak Tech and today I'm going to show you how to fix your master boot record or MBR on your computer. So what it basically means is that if your master boot record is broken or corrupted then you won't be able to um, start up your computer. You're going to have to use a recovery disk or reinstall uh, your operating system. If you do not have your stuff backed up, that's not really fun. So um, let's get started and I'll show you how to do everything to get your computer back up and running. Step 1. You want to download Ubuntu and burn it onto a flash drive, CD, whatever you want. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is head over to Ubuntu.com and um, So once you're here, you're gonna click on go on download desktop, then um, choose the one you had. Um, if it's not, if the version you had is not here, you can find it somewhere else. Um, so I had a 13.04, and um, it was 32 bit uh, machine. So after doing that, just click on go to the 13.04 down here. Um, this will load up the donation page, but you don't have to necessarily do this. Just click on not now to get the download, and your download will start. Like it has ready, and. Um, you're gonna go ahead and start to download and I'll be back once this is done. Alright guys, so once you have Ubuntu downloaded onto your computer, you're gonna get a dot ISO file that looks something like this. So the next thing you wanna do is grab a USB flash drive that's about four gigs. I have one right here. So what you want to do now is you're going to get a program that can burn .iso files into USB flash drives. And uh, I have one that's called Lupus. It's, uh, it works great. Uh, so let me just start up Rufus. The best thing about Rufus is that you do not have to install anything. It just works right out right after you download it. So click yes. Okay. So now it will de the if you have only one USB or flash drive connected, it will automatically detect it. Keep this as it is. Keep this also as it is. Um, yeah. And here it says create a bootable disk using free DOS. You're gonna change that to ISO image. Then click on the little disk icon and choose the Ubuntu 13.04 desktop and click open. Now click start. Okay. Now it will come up with this warning. And you want to make sure you do not have anything on your flash drive. And if you do have anything important, you're gonna, you want to you want to, you're gonna want to back that up to your computer. <coughs> okay, so now just click OK, and I'll be back when this is done. All right, so now that we are done with this, you just go ahead and click close. And now if we just go on the flash drive folder. You can see it says install Ubuntu, then it's going to come up with the Ubuntu's icon. So that's a good way to know that Ubuntu is now installed uh, on your flash drive. So the next thing you want to do is just remove it safely. Now we'll head over to the laptop and see what we have to do next. Alright, so now we're back on the laptop. <coughs> Here I have the flash drive. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in to one of the available USB ports, then start up the laptop and be ready. Keep my hand on that 12 button when it boots up. Press F12. Prepare. Now it's gonna say preparing boot device list. So once you get here, it's gonna come up with this menu, and you're just gonna choose the USB. So it's the Kingston DT Mini Light. Press Enter. And now the Ubuntu start screen should come up for installing. <clears throat> Still going to uh, start screen, Ubuntu button. I mean the loading, loading screen. <clears throat> 